Godzilla stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with Monster Zero 2. Here's your look at the new Jax Pacific, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Godzilla vs. Rodan. Godzilla King of the Monsters follows the heroic efforts of the cryptozoological agency Monarch and its members face off against the battery of god-sized monsters, including the mighty Godzilla, who collides with Mothra, Rodan, and its ultimate nemesis, the three-headed King Ghidorah. When these ancient super-species, thought to be mere myths, rise again, they all be for supremacy, leaving humanity's very existence hanging in the balance. The first thing we're going to do is figure out how tall these stand. Now, we've already been there. We've done that with Godzilla. Still, though, the Ultra Measuretron can tell you, the viewing audience, that Godzilla stands at 3.3 inches in height, which works out to be 8.4 centimeters tall. Rodan, we have not yet measured off before, but clearly you can see he's a lot smaller than what Godzilla will be. Just how much? Well, why don't we start first with its head? That's as good place as any. We're going to stop the tape measure right there. The figure stands 2.2 inches in height, which works out to be centimeters once again, 5.8. But keep in mind as well, Rodan has these very large wings. So let's go back, back to the drawing board, if you will, and let's figure out right to the top of its wings how tall it is. 3.4 inches is the answer to that, which then works out to be 8.6, 8.6 centimeters tall much like the set that came included with King Ghidorah and Godzilla, Rodan's set also includes a diorama display. Just to show you what they look like side by side, they are not continuations of, of course, the same picture. You've got the erupting volcano for the King Kong versus Rodan. And again, we looked at these already. The stadium set back piece, backdrop, if you will, came included with the Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. Again, I like these little on the small side but keeping in mind as well these are small figures as well you can just put them in the backdrop like so and you can again pit them one to one face to face and you've got a little diorama piece in the background these are cardboard and they just sit inside the grooves of this little plastic standee and again a little accompanying piece whether you want to display them or you know with it or without it it's a nice little accompanying piece that Jax includes so let's have a look at these figures. We'll do some size comparisons, of course. We've already technically looked at the Godzilla. This was the one that came included with King Ghidorah. You can see that they are the same copy. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll look a little bit more into details in a second. And then really towering over all of them is the very mighty King Ghidorah. Still sort of a bit of a problem getting the wings. I would love to have the wings out like this, but again, having the figure be able to stand upright is a little bit more trickier still considering the idea of putting some fishing line fish fishing line there we go around maybe like the neck area so i can sus suspend king Ghidorah up in the sky maybe hanging down from my ceiling would be a nice touch again they're small enough they don't take up a lot a lot of space but again they're really nicely detailed pieces putting king Ghidorah against the much smaller rodan you can see how the sizing is I mean, it's pretty much like the bottom half of King Ghidorah is about the same size as Rodan. To Rodan's credit, at least, Rodan can stand on its feet. King Ghidorah is a little bit, again, trickier because the wings sort of off-balance the standing of the figure. So there's your size comparisons. We'll try to do that with all of these pieces, these two packs that we're going to be having a look at. So going back, not knocking over Rodan, sorry, so sorry for that. Comparing the two Godzillas, you can see, yes, they are the same, utilizing the same mold as one another. I like that Jax has kept them unique to one another by introducing some much needed additional blue to this one that this one did not possess. The one that also comes with Rodan also has a new introduction of the blue eyes, whereas the standard Godzilla didn't have that. It just had white eyes. I love the additional blue color. It definitely does add a little extra pop to this figure. Again, it's small in size, but they're really nicely nicely sculpted figures of Godzilla. 
just again a much smaller now there was some connection some installation required just putting the tail in place still has the swivel on the back portion of the tail much like the one that came with king Ghidorah had again there's nothing really different between the two other than it's just a different paint scheme and we'll do the comparison of the next set as well so that you guys can see all the difference between all of the figures again i really do like these quite a bit they're small, but again, with their small size comes some real charm to them that you can put them on a desk. You can put them with small little cityscapes. Even if a child was picking these up or a parent was picking up for their child, the kid, I think, would have a real blast being able to just put together some pieces. You could probably even take some brick building pieces, build like little cityscapes, and you've got really an ideal Godzilla for that sizing. You can see all the individual scales that they put into the plastic here. None of these are sharp, by the way, if you are wondering. They are softer plastic, so they're not going to cause any damage. You pick them up, you don't feel like you're going to prick yourself. Really nice detailing there also in the face. Posability on this guy is the exact same as what we saw before. The head rotates all the way around. The arms swivel back and forth, as to be said as well for the legs. The legs hinge back and forth. We've already looked at the tail. Tail, two points in the tail. So there's Godzilla. We've, again, looked at him. We'll look at him again in the next set as well. And uh, the next one we're going to have a look at here is Rodan. Loving, loving the sculpting that they put in Rod Rodan here. It's almost really hard to describe. It's almost like a combination of a tortoise shell, tree, like tree bark, and feathering. In fact, it actually kind of looks more like stone I, the more that I look at it. It still has the hinges in the same way that King Ghidorah has. So when you hinge it, of course, it gives you a little bit different way of displaying the figure. Its head is small. You can see still very nicely sculpted and equally so very nicely painted. Primarily, it looks like the, the plastic was used as the this red color, and then they've just gone in there and very generously added this additional black to it, just so that all of those really cool sculpted points of interest, all the things we were talking about before, really do stand out. You can even see like the little small hand at the very top of the wing there. I really liked King Ghidorah. I always have had a soft spot for King Ghidorah, but I really do love the look of Rodan here. Very, very small, as equally said for uh, King Kong there, Godzilla. Uh, not mixing King Kong and Godzilla just yet. Uh, Posability on this guy, it has hinges, of course, we've already looked at in the wings. When you bring the wings, you could technically bring the wings all the way up that way, as if it's folded itself back for maybe if it's on a perch. Uh, this, of course, does cause some problem with the figure then standing. Uh, it does want to fall back because now you're kind of throwing off of its balance, bringing a lot of the weight to the back. The figure does kind of lean forward, lean back as a result. You can bring the legs forward but it doesn't really compensate for it in fact actually its best way to stand is by simply just having the wings completely flat completely out there's also posability in the head it rotates back and forth and like i said there's the posability in the in the feet i mean i would love if these could have come with display stands uh, like I said, Rodan doesn't have as much the problem as you can see there. Clearly see right there. Both the figures stand perfectly fine. The only one I really do have the problem with, again, is the King Ghidorah. And it's just simply because its wings are so big and so impressive that it does throw the balancing off for it just to be standing on, say, a surface. Rodan doesn't have that problem at all, nor does really Godzilla here on the left. For the children that are going to be first introduced to Godzilla with the new upcoming release of Godzilla King of the Monsters to theaters, these smaller two-packs are the ideal entryway into collecting Godzilla toys. They're affordable and right out the bat, the moment you pick up one set, you already got a Godzilla and a monster that he can fight against. They're small, they're compact, they're easy to take with you on the go, and they even give you a little cardboard backdrop that you can put on display behind them if you want to display them in your room. 
Like I said, these are quite a small little affordable piece pickup. If you are interested in picking up the Godzilla King of the Monsters, specifically, let's say Godzilla vs. Rodan that we looked at in this review, some great news is that all of these new Jack-specific toys from Godzilla King of the Monsters are going to be hitting Walmarts on April 1st, 2019. Mark it on your calendar. Mark it on your arm. Probably not mark it on your arm because that's a little harder to take off, especially if you're using permanent marker. But mark it on your calendar. April 1st, 2019 is Godzilla King of the Monsters hitting Walmart stores. A big thank you once again to the folks over at Jack Specific for making these reviews possible. We're going to, of course, be having a look at some cool, much, much bigger, probably I would say that's an understatement, much bigger Godzilla pieces in the upcoming reviews. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned for those. Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly as these videos are popping up, you never want to miss out. I certainly would not want to miss out and I don't want you guys to miss out either. Today, once again, we were having a look at the really cool new, super small Jack Specific. This was the Godzilla King of the Monsters. This was specifically Godzilla versus Rodan. I can tell you though, like I said, we will be having a look at some more Godzilla pieces. So if you are a fan of Godzilla, or like I said, this is the first time you're being introduced to King of the Monsters. Either way, like I said, we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff lined up on this channel. So stay tuned. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do, and I'll see you guys next time.